YouTube, what is good? We're coming to you guys from Fitness Culture right now. We got Alex in the house. Have they met you? Yeah, they haven't met the British show yet. They haven't? They're about to. Not even in the, the Steph, Steph Cohen video? Very briefly in a reflection. So that was the first one. It was. And then what other ones have we done on YouTube? We've done Karen. We've done oh yeah, Brady Karen with Brooke Ince. Yeah. We've done The Biggest Loser. The Biggest Loser. And then what was the other one? Oh, I had the golf vlog, but you didn't do the golf vlog, no, did you? Serious. That was Chris. Um, so yeah, Alex, man, what's up, Alec and Alex. This is Alex. Alec is back in Australia doing his thing, especially with COVID. There was no chance we were getting him over here this year. So, hey, different accents. Yeah, you love any accents. The skills are there. The guy is amazing. So tonight, um, we're in the gym. The hair is getting long, just, just long enough to be peeking out. I'm really trying to grow it out long enough to where I can put it in a, like a ponytail just once in my life. I don't think it's gonna happen. Let me know in the comment section below. Should we keep it going? It kinda looks cool with the hat on. It's not that cool to be honest. It's super dry in St. George, my hair is dry. So anyhow, I'm gonna do my first challenge workout since I got COVID. So I got COVID like six weeks ago, did my quarantine for 12 days, got tested, was negative. That's when that golf video came out. Um, because it was old footage and we got to, I got to basically take a week and a half off from work. It was pretty crappy and I felt bad for the first, I felt pretty sick for the first three days. But after that, I was just, I was going crazy. I couldn't taste, couldn't eat. I still really can't taste or smell very well. I would say 50%. Um, but we're in the gym, we're back in the gym now and we're gonna try on a little clothing haul and then we're gonna see how my fitness is by doing the Navy. PT fitness test. So max push-ups in two minutes, max sit-ups in two minutes, and then a mile and a half run. I'm gonna have to do a mile and a half run on the treadmill in here tonight. Won't be super fun. So that's what we got in store for you. Hobbs, you ready, dude? You ready? You ready for the vlog? Tell him, tell him, tell him we're doing it. I'm also gonna be seeing what, how much, uh, how much kind of, what kind of strain we get. We're gonna see what kind of strain we get on the whoop to see, you know, how much, basically how, how good of shape we're in. What does my heart rate get up to? We're gonna be keeping track of all of that. Let's go. All right guys, first up, we got the Venture Collection. Now, neither one of these I'm gonna be wearing working out. The joggers are probably some of my favorite joggers Gymsharks ever came out with. Um, you can see nice and loose at the bottom. They have this paneling for the pockets and then they have the back paneling on the back calf. It's almost reflective. This is definitely more of a lounge jogger. Top that goes with it. It's kind of a, it's a tighter material, so you might want to lift in it. I wouldn't lift in it because of the type of material it is. When it sweats, it doesn't dry quickly, really. So this is like a lounge, go to coffee in the morning set. It also comes in another color that looks like, like this. So this is, I don't know, are these green or are they, are they tan or khaki? I don't know. Um, I like this one. I, I'm not generally a lighter color sweats fan, except for these. They're baggy enough, they're thick enough that they're not going to be too revealing. So next up, aspect. It's a little bit more performance. It's going to be a little bit more dry wicking. It's that, you know, traditional, like you're in the gym, you're sweating, it's going to evaporate really quickly. It's super duper light, super duper stretchy. So if you're looking for more of a performance line right now, this is going to be one of two that Gymshark has. This is like your go-to stretchy Gymshark stuff. Aspect cutoff, this is the outfit we're going with tonight. It's actually going to go nice with my running shoes. I got a mile and a half to run and I haven't ran at all since pre-COVID. So it's going to get interesting tonight. I might feel like I'm going to die, but I'm going to get through it. All right, guys. So in fitness culture, if you guys have followed me, you guys know a lot of, a lot of stuff happened. We all have in 2020. Got COVID, Morgan couldn't come back. So my training's been definitely secondary. Probably 2020 has been the least I've ever trained in any given year. So I'm not really in good shape. We know that, I know that. But tonight, uh, I'm gonna just perform the Navy PT challenge, just to see kind of where I'm at muscular endurance wise. I haven't done it in a long, long time. In fact, I don't think I've ever done this one. So I have two minutes max push-ups, two minutes max, sit-ups or curl-ups they call them and then a uh, one and a half mile run for time I don't know why I want to do this I just want to see how like it's almost like a stress test to see like uh, 
am I really that bad out of shape? I know I'm light right now, I'm 211 pounds. So I'm kind of warming up, foam roll in the chest. When I do these press ups tonight, it'll be hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart. This will be the starting position. I think actually start here, start here. As you come down, arms have to go to 90 degrees all the way up. Can't take my hands off the ground. Can't take your feet off the ground. Can't rest. If you do that at any point in time, your, uh, your, your score is done right then and there. So two minutes, you can rest in this position. You cannot rest in that position. So you gotta be in this position. That body needs to be nice and tight. So I'm going to warm up and then we're gonna jump into, put two minutes on there. I'm also gonna see how many calories this burns or what my strain score is gonna be. I don't think this should really take me longer than 20 minutes in total, even rest times in between each particular test. So I'm saying 20 minutes max. Let's see what my strain is on the whoop and also how many calories I burn. Two minutes, five, four, three, two, one. seconds I could do that's the least amount of push-ups that I've been able to do probably in uh, I don't know since I was in sixth grade 20, 20. all right the curl ups or sit ups basically you have to keep your hands touching your collarbone area all the way down so your shoulder blades have to be on the ground come up touch your elbows to your thighs, somewhere between your knee and hip. So come up, touch, touch, touch. I'm definitely gonna lose my hat on this. I can rest in this position. I can't take my hands off. I can't raise my feet and I can't raise my butt. So if I do that, if you have someone to hold your feet, have them hold your feet. I obviously don't. So I'm using this 150 pound tire. Two minutes. Max repetition, hopefully I do better than the push-ups. Ooh, wow. Eye-opening. That's what this is. It's eye-opening. Good to know. You don't know where you're at until you test yourself. All right, let's go knock out that 1.5 mile run. All right, had about a three minute break from press-ups, as Alec calls them, press-ups, not push-ups, but press-ups in the UK. I uh, got a 1.5 mile test. I'm not running outside. It's too cold. It's too dark. I'd prefer a treadmill. Whether or not that changes up my time, 
I don't know. You guys will be the judge of that. I'm definitely thinking I'm not breaking 10 minutes on this. I'll be happy to get 11. Here we go. Problem is, I don't know how fast I can go. I set it to 10. Oh, my hair is gonna drive me nuts, but I don't wanna wear a hat either. Eleven nineteen. 11, shit. How long that shit? Uh. You know what? For the next month, that's my goal. I'm training to get better at this. I need a good training goal. The triathlon was canceled due to COVID. I ended up getting COVID. Morgan shit. I'm broken right now. I just feel like 2020 has uh, broken a lot of us, but I'm gonna get the last laugh. Oh, I've never been this out of shape, I think, in a long, long time. I'm sure I have at some point, but it's definitely the least amount of push-ups and sit-ups I've been able to do in two minutes. I refuse to accept that. Oh. sucked but I have to change my mental outlook on everything right now I've been so negative just just kind of like what next what next what are you gonna do next detain my girlfriend what next COVID happened I got it what next can't can't make any more excuses excuses just got to change man 11 19 for a mile and a half it's not gonna cut it it needs to be needs to be under 10 that's the goal under 10 I say 100 push-ups 110 sit-ups I was not there today <sighs> gotta get better we'll get better <sighs> it's that gut check time I went through a divorce when I was 23 and uh, kind of feel like I do now beaten broken like ah, life's not fair this is bullshit but I had to finish my college degree. I had to train for a show to keep my mind focused. I needed laser-like focus. Got to put the blinders on, focus on the good things, focus on what I want in life, focus on helping other people out, servicing other people by doing what I do best in this world. And you got to say no to everything else. You know, where I was when I was 20, 24, you know, 10 plus years ago, it's amazing how we let our lives go in cycles and if we're not on top of it if we're not on top of checking ourselves every single day a year like 2020 can chop us down and bring us back to really that humble person where you're like oh I can't do this on my own but you got to look yourself in the mirror and you got to tell that person the only person 
who you can count on is that person in that mirror. The only person that's going to do it for you is that person in the mirror. Pray about it. Do whatever you have. Surround yourself with good friends. But the only person that's going to be in here in a month, that's where I'm setting it. Everything that I said, under 10, 100, 100, I give myself 30 days from right now. From right now. December 17th. You guys are going to see this the following Monday. But from right now, January 17th, I'm doing this again. And it will be better. It will be better. I guarantee you that.